let's get an image onto our page and there's actually a few different ways that we can go about doing that uh, so the first thing first step is to go to Google and let's just type in w3 image tag it pops up right at the top HTML image tag on w3 school so we're gonna click into there and it gives us a working example that we're gonna use it has four attributes and remember attributes are these little things these red highlighted words inside of the IMG tag a lot of tags have different attributes if you scroll down in W3 schools it lists out all of the attributes with a brief explanation so the alt tag which we're going to use specifies an alternate text for an image so that's in case your image is broken or if there's a screen reader being used you also have source which specifies the URL of an image which we're going to be using have to use if we want to actually pull that image up so we're going to go to the top as you can see there's also height and width in there as well we're going to get rid of that we can copy and paste this copy it put it down here and we'll save it now if we go back to our page and we refresh I get a broken image and it's about to say smiley face which is our alt tag and of course we get a broken image because I don't have smiley face dot gif saved anywhere so what we can do is let's look for an image that we want to put in there ourselves so let's look up like Goku Harry Potter hybrid yeah let's do that so we'll type in images there we go there's Goku going to Hogwarts and of course he's Gryffindor so we'll save actually before we save this image there's two ways to do it so if we load up this image this is the original place where it's saved currently on a server we can copy this pull up our code and paste it in there I'm gonna get rid of height and width too I don't want to limit the size of my image go back here and refresh and there's the image now it's a massive image if we put height and width in there of course it would shrink down to 42 pixels by 42 pixels the problem is we're now relying on somebody else's server to keep this image up if for whatever reason you know their domain name expires or something happens and then we basically no longer have the image there so the best thing to do is to go to the image save the image I'm just gonna call it goku.jpg I'm gonna save it on my desktop so instead I can go here so here's the image goku.jpg now this is a JPEG image or JPG you'll also notice PNG now PNG is when um, PNG takes up more space than a JPEG but it also allows you to have a transparent background so let's say you just wanted Goku in the image and you just wanted his hair and everything like that to show up you'd have to use a PNG if you want this background to not show up so you actually see the background color of your website if you're using a JPEG you cannot do that it will automatically become a rectangle so we're going to go into first site and just like with the CSS we're actually going to create a brand new folder we're going to call it IMG and we're going to uh, drag Goku right into there and when we pull up our files we're going to say IMG forward slash again because we want to go into the IMG folder Goku.jpg we'll save it when we go back and we refresh the page it's still there and it will always be there as long as our website is up and running so that's the benefit of actually having it be in your file and I can actually view it right there well there it is alternatively you can also use uh, you can also add your image in the CSS but we'll get into that uh, next week